Tip of the Week is brought to you by Duncan Tire Company. The Northside Eagles were off to a pretty strong start in the first two games of the season. They scored 38 points in both games. This machine that head coach Kevin Kinsler has got going is it just won't slow down. It's obvious they are one of the best teams in the area, and it looks like as the state in the state as well. The Eagles started a region play tonight with the Lakeside Panthers in Warner Robins, who won last week over Richmond Academy 35 to nothing. Here we go to McConnell Talbert Stadium for the action as the Eagles hosted the Panthers. Here come the Eagles out on the field and the Panthers as well for region action. Northside always has some crazy kids over there. They get the ball first. Here we go. Tobias Oliver hands off to Willie Jordan. He's going to get the Eagles on the board first with a one yard touchdown run. The PAT would be good and it was seven to nothing. Northside would be up after this PAT right here. It is up and good and that would make it seven to nothing home team out on top, which of course makes the fans happy. Now Lakeside of the ball and the tough Northside defense would just go crazy. You cannot score on this defense. They are really good. Here's a play right here. Short gain for Lakeside, then back to pass. They had just trouble getting anything going. This is an incomplete pass. Northside to get on the coverage. Lakeside would have to give it back to the Eagles after this would not work. So here come the Eagles. Northside with the ball again and look out. Here they come and they wasted no time. Oliver's going to hand off to Willie Jordan. And all I got to say is he go oh, 80 yards. Look, he's running all over people. Put a three before that four. It looks like Hersh. PAT was up and good, and that made it 14 to nothing. Eagles out on top. Lakeside would try to make it interesting for a while and started to click on offense. Here's a little play here from Nick Patterson to Steven Husa. This is a nice pass play. We don't see very many pass plays around here. That's a touchdown to make it 14 to 7. Northside still on top, and that was the score at the half. But look at here 38 to 7. Again, three weeks in a row, they scored 38 points. 38 to 7 the final. What, what are the odds of that happening? Northside is at Jones County next week, which should be a great game. Now to Macon, the end of four sports complex. Howard at Rutland. Here we go with the two teams taking the field here as a good rivalry trying to be built up by these two teams. Rutland with the ball first, and they would get going with Tamori Northcutt going back to pass, but it's going to be picked off. Uh, play right here for Howard, uh, rather for Rutland. And then they would get, here comes Howard now. Tajay Morant, he's going to run it. Look at this play. He's going to run for the score for the touchdown. And the PAT would be up and good. And that would be 7-0 Howard out on top. Rutland would try to get going in this ball game, but they would have trouble. Here's the kickoff by the Huskies. And the Hurricanes are going to get it around the 25-yard line, 30-35, and stop right there by Howard, playing tough. Demore Northcutt now again throws it. Incomplete, good play by the defense, trying to cover. Then again, Rutland looking. Northcutt scrambling to his right, throws it. Nope, can't get it right there. And Rutland trying to get something going in this Howard defense. Howard's got a good team this year. Barney Hester, you know, he can coach. So can George Collins, but this is a very good Howard team right here. This is a run by Morant to the 30-yard line here for Howard. Good play there. Howard wins this one by the score of 21 to nothing over Rutland tonight at Ed DeFore. We stay in Macon and head to Henderson Stadium. Central hosted Jordan tonight. Here we go for the, some action right there as the Chargers charged out slowly and carefully and peacefully. First quarter, Chargers on the Jordan 11-yard line. Quarterback Derek Evans under pressure. Look at that catch right there. He's in there. Yes, he got it, ref. Thanks a lot for your call. Touchdown. Chargers out on top. He's in there for six points. Tamaya Flint would go for the extra point. It's up and it is good. Chargers up by the score of seven to zip over Jordan. Then later in the first quarter, snap coming to Evans. He hands it off to Antonio Sanders Jr. Watch this play right here. He's in there for the score. Hey, don't push him around. He scored. Come on, Jordan. You're not Michael Jordan. Extra points up and good. It's 14-0. Jordan tries desperately to get something going. Romello Kimbrough goes long for Javante West. He's INT intercepted by Jaron Harris of the Chargers. That gives Central the ball back, and they had it into the end of the first quarter. And with flip sides now, and the Chargers would get knock on the door again for a field goal and make it 17 to nothing. Later in the second period now, Central with the ball. Watch this, Evans to Cummings. He gets to the 10 yard line, and then Evans is gonna hand off to Daniels, who's gonna score. This is, look at the Central Chargers, how about this? They're two and one. 25 to four is the score. I, I don't think they've called this one officially yet either, but it was 25 to four. Central comfortably out on top of Jordan. Of course, the weather's been all over the place today with all kind of delays. All right, we've got the game of the week brought to you by Steve's Steaks and Seafood. Coming up right after this.